What's up guys? It's Drew Man Fishing and today we're not at Castaic. We're at <laughs> we're at Secret Lake. Secret Lake. Secret Lake. And we're at Secret Lake in the middle of LA kind of area. We're not gonna tell you where. Um if you know where this lake is, uh don't fish it if you don't have permission. They'll call the cops on you. So um uh, you can see it, it's super, super overgrown. It's gonna be a challenge. Uh, we're just in a little tin boat. And I'm gonna probably be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing a lot of jigging. And they said white is the, kind of the juice, but I, I'm gonna throw natural. Then we'll move to white once it doesn't work. Okay. I'll see you guys on the water. So I started fishing off with the jig with a pretty fast fall. And my dad almost immediately uh, got a bite when just right here on the dock and with a, with a, he got a bite with a Sanko. So I switched off with the Sanko and started getting some major bites. Okay, dad, don't, don't go so fast. Cause this is a big section right here. Look at that pipe hole. Oh, big in, big in over there. Let's go. Let's go. That was sick. I watched him eat it, Dad. <laughs> I, did you hear me say biggin? Yeah. Biggin. Oh, let's go. Bassin' in the grass. What? All right. I got battery. Nope, putting him back. No, how did he get off? Of the weeds. Dad, oh my God. I said, there's a big one under me. Yeah. And, and I couldn't see it because I flipped under the weeds. Right. And dude, my line just started blasting. First non sight fish bite. Don't take me into those weeds. That's a bigger one. That's a big one. Nah. It's five. Yeah, it's five. It's my first big one of the year. Biggest fish of the year. I don't know, Dad. No, nah, it's not my PB. No, but it's five. I think it's five. Woo. Yeah, that's a bucket mouth. Holy crap. That is a Lake XB right there, boys. Absolute mondos only at this lake. <laughs> That is a big fish, man. Oh, man. That's five pounds. I think it's five. Oh, look at her mouth. Can fit my fist. <laughs> no problem. All right. All right. Let's get a weight on her. Yep. So we didn't get the weight right. of the fish on the video, but it weighed 4.82. So right, about, right at five pounds. Yes. She was ready. I'm excited about that one. <laughs> I gotta get a fish in a boat. That's my that's uh, biggest fish of the year for me. Four eight five pounds. Because the moss was so thick on the lake, uh, the trolling motor just kept getting caught up in it. So we had to paddle around almost the whole day, which is tiring but totally worth it for these big aggressive fish. Yep. Oh, there's one. Got him? No, a small one. He's good. Mm -hmm. 
just a little one pounder. That was a cool catch, he jumped. Okay. We're in the nursery, Dad. <laughs> so before you see this clip, I'm using my grandpa's old rod that he had been using for years. And it was so worn down on where the reel was. The reel had been like kind of half coming off every time I caught a fish. So I knew it would fall off at one point. I wanted to keep using the rod until it basically fell apart. And on this fish, the the reel came off, which was not user error. It was the, it's it was just so worn down that it can't hold the reel. It's hard to explain, but basically the rod can't hold the reel anymore. So I was trying to fish with a, and then when I, or when I was reeling this fish in, the reel came off and I just had to kind of hand line it in. But it happened twice in the day, and at that, the second time it happened, I knew I had to just put away that rod because it was pretty much done for. If you know any fixes for this, please put them in the comments because I really like this rod, but I can't use it anymore because it has this problem. I'm going to flip all the way over there. Not if I have a bad flip. Oh. Not if I flip right into the honey hole over here. And catch a fish. Boom! <laughs> My reel just came off. Oh no. Yeah. Where is he? I just couldn't see it. Can you ever see it? I got your fish. My reel just came off. Dang it. I really like this reel. I mean this, that rod. All right guys, doing a little intermission here. Still fishing. Scores four to two. I have a five pounder and all the rest are, we caught one that was like, I caught it a two. And he's caught two, two, two ones, and I've caught two ones. So I have. They're not two, ones, though. One I have two ones and a. Well, I have two one and a halves, one two and one five. Dad has two one and a, two like one and a halves. Yeah. So we're fishing. We're fishing weightless uh, T rig Sankos, and um, Dad got a blow up on a frog, but we're not pursuing that because we're having fun with this sight fishing. It's clear but lots of weeds. It's interesting, but fun. And I got my five pounder off of, there's an aerator like right there. And there's big fish sitting on it every time we come here. So, um, oh yeah. So we're just fishing natural Sankos and we're, we are having trouble getting through these weeds even with the boat cause they're so thick, but it's worth it for these fish, so. I'm gonna keep fishing, and I'll see you guys back in the water. Keyword looks. Huh? Oh my God, Dad! What? Look at this fish. Oh, I got it. Let's go. Let's go. Did you see that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I hit it. Boom. You can, uh, you can muscle them out of here. Yeah. Let's put them down there. Yeah, I really get worried in that muck. Oh my god, I can't believe you just got that bad hit like that. Dad, I had a perfect cast. That's just what I wanted to do. I, I really... Alright, just caught this one sight fishing. Super cool. My GoPro battery ran out, so it probably cut off weird, but... Three pounder. Three pounder, 2.93, so three. It's one of the first overhand casts of, I think it's the first overhand cast I made today.
wheels off. This is awesome. I'm fly fishing. <laughs> Strip it. Strip it. Keep out of those weeds, man. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm fine, I'm fine. Strip it. <laughs> Dude, major respect to fly fishermen right now. Oh, that's a good fish. I know. Wow, this is, this is really hard. <laughs> I just hit you in the face. <laughs> is he still on there? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, he is. Do you have him? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this so much. I need to switch rods right now. Yeah. That was amazing. Did you film that? Yeah. That's my fish. But whatever, it's more convenient. <laughs> Whatever, that's my fish. All right. That was one of the most difficult fights I've had. Along with the hand lining situation. Oh my God, it just, yeah. There's no saving it. I just put it in again. Looking at it. Got it. Stuck on this thing. It's a good one. You're welcome. Three and a half. Yeah, it feels good. I don't know. Yeah. I said, he's got it. He's got it. A big on me. Yeah. Oh, he's about to eat it. He's about to eat it. He ate it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I said he's about to eat it. About to eat it. He ate it. Look at how fat that fish is. Dad. That's a two. He fought probably the hardest out of everyone. Yep. Yeah. Do you see that swim right there? But he's very. There's like one or two fish that around here that are always so spooky. Oh, wait, he's not. Aw. Oh. Oh my god, that was crazy. Got him. And there's Leroy. <laughs> also looks like a little bit of a spawner. Bullseye. There's a big one right here. Big one right there. Oh, big one right there. Oh, got him. Got him, got him, got him. About to catch him. Do you hear the sound he made when he 
pancake the water? <laughs> he came out like four feet. Ah, it's another one. Crazy fighter again. Pull and drag like crazy. Let's get, let him go. On the bluegill lure. The bluegill was chasing it, and then he took off, and then the bass went boom. <laughs> Number four for you. Yeah. And under the tree. Look, look at that bass. Is that bass dead? Yeah. No, he's alive. He's alive. He he's got a fish in his mouth. Yeah. Look. He's chomping it right now. It was a crawfish. What? Yeah. It was a crawfish tail in his mouth. No. Yes. That was awesome. That was awesome. I'm just taking photos in the video. Alright, All right, you good. Those are some good photos right there. Yeah. Wow, he just clobbered it, man. Yeah, I know. He was like, had his head. He was nosing. That was crazy. All those weeds off. Was he just in the in the oh, back? Left side of that. Yeah. Oh, look at the belly. Yeah. in the grass. So for some reason we didn't film an outro. I'm pretty sure it was because we were so tired after rowing the boat around all day. Uh, I caught 12 fish. My dad caught six. All over a pound. Mm, on like it, it was an average of like two pounds two and a half, I don't know, the fish were pretty big, and all on natural colored, weightless Sankos, Texas rigged, uh, best color was baby bass, anything that kind of looked that natural color was good, and I had the biggest fish of the day, by actually my biggest fish of the year, it was 4.82, I think, and so, so just about five pounds, and so that was a good fish, and my dad caught a four pounder, and a bunch more threes. So great day. It was really hard getting around the all the weeds, but totally worth it for these big fish. And we only fished for a few hours, and it was a good time. So I'm gonna be fishing here a lot. I'm gonna be fishing at this pond a lot this summer because I'm kind of working there. So uh, be ready for some more videos at this pond. I'm hoping maybe. That my PB is in that in, the, in that pond somewhere. Something over six point seven is in there. Hopefully, I'll catch it. 
and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Dreamman Fishing. Thank you for watching. Bye.